I guess you, you know your, your guess is as good as mine. You know we were frequently, you know, commenting you know, on the affairs, and I, I have to acknowledge that not many people expected this such a powerful invasion was you know such a strong one. So it's hard to guess, but at least officially, uh, Kremlin says that it's going to be uh, temporary. Uh, you know, activity they will want to do what they call denazify, demilitarize. What is how it is con- uh, translated in concrete terms? It's very hard to say. I suspect they want either to negotiate there were the rumors uh, that they want to negotiate with Zelensky, Zelensky who offered to neutrality, then he backed off from that. They basically want somebody who will uh, sort of tell, say that our country in the future will be neutral. I don't think Russians are interested in, in uh, grabbing the land, in occupying the country, but they definitely want to do their best a to degrade the military and B to have some kind of regime which be which will be neutral rather than highly sympathetic to the United States and highly eager to enter NATO. Uh, it's either they will negotiate or they would probably the problem is that we have to be aware that Ukraine is uh, divided. So there are some you know eastern parts uh, there will be, you know, sort of, you know, their the, the candidates who might be much more sympathetic. So it's very hard to say. Will it be open for election? Will he try to put somebody who will sort of uh, appeal to the West and to the East of Ukraine? It's, you know, I, I, I don't venture to, 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 to go there. Well, I'm happy to respond to that because I think the situation is unclear. People are scared when there is a war, when there's an invasion. You don't know what you're going to be, how you're going to behave. So it remains to be seen. But we know historically that the eastern part of Ukraine always complain about, you know, attacks from. Uh, Ukrainian government. There is this battalion Azov, which is, you know, uh, consists of ultra nationalists. So basically, Nazis, of course, I agree with uh, Sergei, this is a, a trigger term, but there are, it's naive to deny presence of ultra nationalists. In, in many parts of Ukraine, these are the people who, you know, had you know murders, uh, burned people in Odessa. These are the people who uh, continued uh, shelling. Uh, Donbass and Donetsk. And I, I want to stress that this is the information, this is uh, the, the shots on, t- on TV, which Russian people see. So they, they respond to that. It's, it's, it's there. It's, you know, I'm not a, a um, specialist on sort of demographics, but we know there were definitely polls, regular polls in Donetsk region and Donbass region conducted by Kiev. And a lot of people want to be separated. So I, I wouldn't say that, uh, you know, it's just unifiedly pro-Russian, but I would say it's unifiedly pro-Ukrainian. Pro, uh, Definitely, I agree with Sergei that the war will push people toward Kiev because it's unexpected. Well, but how the things will fall out is, is not clear. I think we're, we're observing some kind of a chess game and we'll see, you know, who who, who has a, a, a higher hand. But what I want to stress is that, you know, the ball for a while was in the United States corner and in Ukraine corner. And, you know, Putin was waiting and waiting and waiting for, for some kind of a, a resolution of, on several fronts. A uh, threat to Russian security, uh, B, a resolution and following of Minsk agreements. And that wasn't happening. For some reason, it's you know I don't, cannot fully blame you know, Ukraine. They seem to be like a client state of uh, uh, United States, or rather, client state of Democratic Party, which uses Ukraine as a proxy to 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 push their particular goals. And and Putin, I, I imagine, was waiting and waiting and waiting to see this situation change, that Ukraine will start functioning as a part of a European uh, home, as as a part uh, is a country located in the center of Europe, negotiating with Russia, negotiating with Germany, and leaving the United States alone. But it's not happening. In the meantime, for eight years, there was a bleeding wound in in, in the territory of Donbass, where uh, Russian-speaking people were demonized, were attacked, were mistreated. So he gave up on on, uh, hoping that there would be some kind of agreement between him, Biden, and Ukrainian leaders, and he decided at least to do something. Uh, I suspect he's not interested in in, in invading further, but what he might be interested in is probably, you know, there'll be negotiations 
ambitious on this subject, and it might be viewed as some kind of uh, invasion, is to restore the Don Donetsk region and Lugansk region in its uh, kind of uh, actual territory, which they had uh, by the year 2014. So, in other words, because parts of this territory is still occupied by Ukrainian forces. So, we'll see, but I don't think he will go any further. And who wins in this situation in the long run remains to be seen. It's not quite clear. I think one of the goals, and that's probably there, you know, Democratic uh, Democratic Party is probably meets with some, uh, you know, deep interest of United States, is I mentioned that Ukraine is in the center of Europe. If you think about, you know, global trade, protests of integration, there, Ukraine is right there in the center. Think about, you know, Chinese uh, initiative of uh, One Belt, One Road. Mm -hmm. This is the places where which we, we have to trade with each other. And the United States is if definitely feels threatened by that. So they're more than happy to put a wedge in the form of Ukraine right in between. The wedge between, you know, the trading of Germany, of Russia, of China, and the whole Eurasian sort of continent, United States feel necessarily threatened. So on the one hand, it is kind of uh, definitely like all the venom of, of Democrats against, against Russia. But I think underneath it is concrete interest of, remember what NATO was all about, mm -hmm. keeping Russia out and Germany down. Now they also want to keep, keep China out as well. That's, that's how I see it.